just thought I'd show you uh, how I'm going to fit the kitchen sink. I don't have a template for it because I'm using that old sink what was on the boat before. I've tried looking to get a different sink but none of them actually fit as well as this one. Um, so I'm going to use this sink but like I say I don't have a template. It has no fixings. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do it without a template. I've actually already drawn round it. But this is the old sink from the old boat. Because I don't have the template, I've just put it on where I want it. And obviously I've got this little gadget, which is cheap, simple, easy. I know I want it 20 centimetres, so I've just adjusted that. Just basically put it on there to get it lined up exactly where I want it all the way round check it again make sure it's right so I've got it lined up I've just got a pencil drawn round it like that taking it off and I've measured here as well what that is we've got the little lip here it's 20, it's two centimetres. <coughs> and I just take that off, then I've just adjusted this again, added the two to it. So we've got the four. And then basically, I've just gone along and drawn along around that. I've done that all the way round. And now I've obviously got this bit to cut out. And then the sink should hopefully fit in there. But this sink has not, doesn't have clamps like sinks normally have. just got flat edges as you can see so somehow I'm gonna have to fix that glue it in before I put the work top back so I can clamp it hopefully I'm gonna be able to clamp it on that side that side and that that is gonna force that down I can obviously clamp this side as well so I may have to just weight this side until it's gone off and that's about the only thing I can do with that and also while I'm cutting today getting the work top out I'm going to finish this bit up this is a bit as you can see there's a gap at the back there so that's got to have a piece of wood cut in to go in there I will join them together to go there I may even have a piece long enough to do it in one bit, but I'll have to have a look. So I'll let you know how we get on with that. Maybe I can film a bit of it as we're cutting this out for the sink. Well, I'm set up, ready to cut this out for the sink. I'm going to use a track saw just because I have one and it does make it easier but you could cut it out with a jigsaw circular saw then just do the ends with a jigsaw or a hand saw whatever you've got really I'm using the track saw purely because I've got it so let's give it a go well I've cut this out with a saw and I've just given it one coat, this is the underneath, so I'm not too bothered. That's the two bits I've got joined back together. The small bits got joined on the end here. And it's just too big for me to get on and off the boat on my own and it's too heavy. So I've just given it one coat of um, oh, this one, X2. 
Exterior Yacht Varnish, a well known brand obviously. Better not mention that, <laughs> otherwise YouTube will have something to say about it, I'm guessing. I'll wait for that to go off now. So I'm doing varnish on the underneath and the top side I'm going to do with uh, oil. So I'm going to try a bit of oil on a small piece first because that will be a lot darker. And I'll let you know how we get on with that. I've uh, glued the sink in place. I've weighed it down as much as I possibly can and clamped it as much as I can. So as all I can do now is wait for it to go off. I suppose I could get a bit more weight there, but that's about it. It seems to be okay, but I'll have to wait for that to go off and see tomorrow, I guess. I've got to have a bit of wood in there now. I've just got to fix it properly. And this join here, do this properly, I will uh, eventually fix them together or make a little groove in there a little bit bigger. I'll fill that with wood glue, then sand this down to make it match. Hopefully uh, that will work and I'll show you as I go along.